This video shows you how to set up to measure heart rate for HRV biofeedback using a pulse oximeter. A pulse oximeter is one of two different means of measuring heart rate, the other being ECG. The MindBody Training Tools software can work with both. ECG setup is covered in another video. The pulse oximeter uses a method called photoplethysmography, or PPG, which involves sending a beam of light through the finger so the sensor fits over a fingertip. It's a bit less accurate than ECG, but easier to set up. The MindBody Training Tools HRV application also requires a measure of breath. That's also covered in a separate video. A USB dongle looking something like this serves as a software license key. If you've rented a biofeedback device, you'll find one included with the device. It looks a bit like a memory stick, and indeed that's what it is. It holds the software that you'll need to install, but besides that, you need to connect it every time you run the software. It's worth quite a bit, so please don't forget to send it back at the end of your rental, along with the device and its associated parts and packaging. I cover software installation and setup in another video. This is a pulse oximeter, one of the types that I use for rentals. It fits onto a finger like this. It's very simple. This is another model. This one has a built-in screen which is not relevant for our purposes. Both these models of pulse oximeter connect to the computer via USB. When you connect it, Windows automatically detects the device. Now the very first time you plug it in, Windows will need to install a device driver. It should do this automatically. If not, I've included a driver on the software dongle. I explain this more fully in the software setup videos. Once the driver is installed, you can see the device listed in Windows Device Manager as a virtual serial port or COM port. Again, I cover this in the software videos. The device driver only needs to be installed once. Subsequently, whenever you connect the pulse oximeter, Windows should identify it straight away and you can assume that it'll just work. You may need to take a note of the number of the COM port from the device manager in cases where you have more than one device connected. For example, if you're running both the pulse oximeter and a capnometer at the same time. That's pretty much it. You're ready to measure heart rate for biofeedback. Once you've got the driver installed, there's not really much that can go wrong with the pulse oximeter. It's powered from USB, so there's no battery or anything like that. Within the software, you can check the signal coming from the device to make sure it's working as expected. This is what the signal looks like. This chart is located in the support window of the MindBody Training Tools HRV application. The heartbeat detection method isn't perfect. Occasionally, it will miss a beat due to the natural variation of the signal. It's not a disaster when this happens, but you can refine heartbeat detection by adjusting the level of the dotted line using this control. You want the dotted line not too close to the peak and at the same time not too close to the body of the signal lower down. You don't want this secondary peak to be detected as a heartbeat. So the dotted line is best somewhere in the middle. It does suffer from movement artifact, which means that if you move your hand during the session, it'll more than likely disrupt the heart rate calculation. But the system should quickly recover, so it's not going to be a significant issue, unless you're doing an assessment when it's best to sit as still as possible right through.